What up gamers, we are back with episode 2 of the How Can X Character Win Total Drama Action Series. Today is Jeff, and I am with my adorable co-host, Alpha XXO. Say hello. Hello, you need to share your screen. <laughs> Alright. Alright, episode 2. I don't think Jeff ends up winning, but I think it, he isn't the main target here. I think for sure Heather is going, because she's Heather, and I think Bridget is going. Fair, fair. And with that, we have our team leaders, Gwen and Trent. Gwen would still choose Duncan, Trent would still choose Lindsay. Uh, Gwen would choose... Hold on. Lashana. Lashana, yeah. You're right. <laughs> and then... They would still choose Justin. And I think this is when Jeff is picked. Yeah. In which case, then... they rebuttal by picking Beth. The toughest competition. The ultimate opposites. They've, they've had so many interactions. <laughs> And then after that, they choose Izzy, because they don't have anyone they, else to choose. Because that's the only woman, and now everyone has- and now it's just pick anyone you want. Now it's DJ. And that means Owen and Harold here. Yeah, because Owen was- oh, like, Harold only was on the Screaming Gaffers because he was the last pick. <laughs> so, in which case, let's go over episode 3. There are some big changes here, first off. DJ is on killer grips, so he cannot mess up Screaming Gaffers. That's the only big change, because Izzy is not the actor anymore for the killer grips, so I think Beth would be chosen. Hmm. And I'm not saying Chef won't help DJ, I'm just saying that I don't think Beth can make as big of a reaction as Duncan. Yeah. So it wouldn't be believable if Chef cheated for DJ here. In which case, yeah. Killer Grips still go to elimination. And I think we came to a, a conclusion that Beth would be the one being eliminated here. Oddly, I think Harold would be in the bottom too, but it would still be Beth going. Fair. Just because it's, it's, he has no reason to leave, he's just Harold. <laughs> Episode 5, nothing would change. Do you yep. still have it in the G? Trent's gone. Yeah. They didn't have it in a G. <laughs> yeah, if, if they just had it in a G, he would have made it to he, merge. He would, he would have been here if they had it in a G. Alright, and I don't think anything changes yeah. about Gwen leaving. Gwen smashes the shovel over Owen's head. The only major change is Izzy is not back. Because she never left. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Episode 8 is the I don't reward challenge. For... Nothing changes. No, it's, it's, it's the scary movie challenge. I thought that was episode 9. No, the war is 9. 8 is scary movie and DJ leaves. Because of he quit, remember? Izzy outlasts DJ and... Kind of every single season, but because Izzy and DJ got eliminated the same episode in World Tour, which is interesting to think about. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> the War Movie Challenge is interesting because there's multiple parts to this challenge. Because there's the explosion part, which Izzy will start going explosivo, but I think Duncan will be able to work with it and actually get a good design done. Al will try to use science, but I mean, he can't be Duncan's natural talent, you know? Yeah, he makes fire. <laughs> with a lighter. <laughs> so they um, win the first part of the challenge. So the Screaming Gaffers get the chest of all, all the secrets, knowledge, whatever it was called. What was it called? I don't know. Yeah. Episode 9 is the episode Everyone, DJ quits. Yeah. 
everyone's mad at Lashawn right now. Rightfully so. And she also ate Owen's... Uh, she drank Owen's medicine again, which... Why did she do that? <laughs> like... Like, Jen, in can like, no joke, in can why did she drink Owen's medicine? Like, oh man, I'm thirsty, time to drink this bubbling green, uh, liquid that ha I've been informed is medicine. She thought it was a shamrock shake. <laughs> she, she, she thought she was Irish. <laughs> nah, I think because she's farting the entire challenge, and because Harold's not there to make a foxhole, I think that the Killer Grips, surprisingly, with their trio, end up winning this one. It's about time, Jesus. And there's... no one in the game wants the Shauna here still. Yeah. I she, mean, she burned too many bridges in this timeline. Yeah, she hasn't had her cheerleading moment. Yeah, but then there's the next part of the challenge. Or, the next challenge. <laughs> the I next think, part. Yeah. In, in canon, it wasn't the smartest on each team, it was just kind of someone on each team, whoever left the canteen or whatever, but I think it's still going to be Owen, and also, I I'll, don't I'll know, Harold, just because more entertaining to see Lindsay and Justin trying to crack a safe. Yeah. Um, I think Duncan will leave Owen in there, but Izzy and Jeff will stay to try and crack the safe. Yeah. And then Lindsay and Justin will stay and take like five hours to crack the safe. <laughs> um, but because Duncan went off on his own, Courtney will end up joining the grips. And uh, I mean, in canon, the whole reason why the grip or the yeah the grips lost in canon. Is because Owen chewed on all of the uh, all of the supplies to make go karts. I'm pretty sure. I don't see a reason for him not to chew on all the supplies on the go karts this time. And I think that the Grat Gaffers lose. And yeah, yeah. There's no Back Courtney down. to vote for here. Yeah, and even if there was, Owen would still be leaving. <laughs> It's but more now, of a message, you know. Yeah. But now, episode 15. So, the first part of the challenge, I don't know, J J Jeff or versus Harold on slow motion boxing, Harold wins. And then it would be Duncan versus Courtney. Actual wrestling, which Courtney wins. Yep. So that's two to the grips. Basketball, I think Izzy could dunk on Justin. And then finally in the final round it would be Jeff versus Jeff Lindsay. Again versus Lindsay. In badminton. badminton. You're right, great. I think Minton. Jeff yeah, I think Jeff wins it, putting it to the tiebreaker. And because three out of the I think four yeah, three out of the four members of the grips before are in cat. Three out of the four of the canon grips are still there, so I think not much changes, and they still end up doing a cheerleading chant about Chris. What, you don't think Harold would be like, cheerleading is an art? Let me lead it. No, he'll try, and then Courtney will kick him in the nuts. <laughs> Damn. She would, though. She. Um, I'm pretty sure she did in World Tour. <laughs> I think in, uh, in, world, in World Tour Finale, she kicked Harold in the nuts. <laughs> I think I think case, the gaffers lose. In which case, I think Jeff blames Duncan for their loss. And yeah, Izzy at least joins Izzy, in. Uh, at least got because blocked. she views Jeff as the easier threat to take yeah. down. And also the fact that in that challenge, Duncan got no points, but yeah. Jeff and Izzy did get one point each. I mean, Jeff competed twice, but still. <laughs> Someone had to. But now it's Merge. Time to do the 16 intro. <laughs> Why'd they do that? Because it was episode 16. And also Merge. I mean, I get it, but like... It's superhero time. And I think... Courtney still wins. Yay, our favorite competitor. And now... So in canon, at this point, Justin pointed out to the guys, 
hey, there's more girls or whatever, but here it's equal guys and girls, and Courtney clearly didn't like any of the girls in canon, and I don't think she's gonna like these ones either. I think the guys plus Courtney could easily get out Lindsay, because Courtney hates Lindsay. Fair. <laughs> so much. <laughs> Episode 19, The Princess. Bride or whatever, Courtney still gets immunity. There's no reason to believe that they'd be able to win. Izzy is the only one you can make a case for, and even then she would be flirting with Chef. Yes. It's even grosser. This sounds than bad out of context. It's so gross. But, she, like, it's so gross. And then Justin will be like, I don't understand why we lost, eh? They're the ones <laughs> with two girls. And, and, then Ju and then Justin's gonna use Jeff and Harold to win, and it's gonna make them mad. And, and then, then Jeff will be like, will be I like, oh snap. He did not just say that. Yeah, nah, I think I there's no reason for Justin not to leave here, for being real. Hey, chill. At least he doesn't think men are smarter than girls, but they but are. They are. <laughs> And Justin's gone. Why are we doing this? Ezekiel's not even in the season. <laughs> Justin becomes the new Ezekiel. Alright, the next one. Episode 21. Oh boy. We discussed this, and we don't think Courtney wins. Because Izzy can become explosivo and literally just it's blow up on the dynamite. <laughs> in I which think, case, I think, Courtney yeah. easily gets eliminated. We forgot to bring oh, back up. Oh, we forgot. We forgot to bring back up. But one fine. gets brought back in this episode, so. Yeah. But hey, now it's time for space, 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 space. Izzy space. definitely wins. There's no way she doesn't. Oh, absolutely. I think Harold will bring up to Jeff that that Izzy and Owen are in a relationship, and they need to separate them. And though Owen and Izzy are in a relationship, they aren't actually like. They're not they don't, strategically. Yeah, they don't. I'm pretty sure team every up. time Izzy has been I'm pretty sure every time Izzy has been eliminated, Owen has voted for her, whenever it was a vote. Yeah. In which case, Owen gets eliminated because Jeff and Harold vote for him. Yeah. Episode twenty-four. Everyone's favorite, the Animal Buddy Challenge. Yeah, it's totally not rigged in Beth's favor for her to win a competition, but yeah, Harold worry, gets to Harold bring has glasses too. <laughs> Jeff would take the chameleon, right? Yeah. Then Izzy would tame a bear. I feel like yeah. Izzy would be doing like incredibly well in this challenge, but I don't think there's any way you can beat the raccoon. Yeah. Like exactly. I think Izzy would dominate, but I, I still think Harold would win it and probably want to take Jeff. His, his his bro, his his honorable warrior to the to the finale with him. Yeah, I think Jeff Despite would be the most Jeff comedic believed. one because he'd have the chameleon. Yeah. Like we he haven't really talked it, but... about like the dynamics that Jeff would have. Yeah. But that's because I, I... Jeff isn't really winning. He's more just the comic relief. I feel like Jeff would play a similar role to Duncan, honestly, in canon, where, like, he plays a fine game to make it to the end, but he doesn't really do anything memorable this season, you So know? he'd be, like, the... He'd kind of fulfill Duncan's role of being the comic relief, then. Yeah. Where he gets b beat up and stuff. Yeah, Jeff's the new Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, if we have Tyler, then we need to have him win. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, no. winner, Jeff, uh, runner up, Harold. I don't know who they Shocker. vote for. They're just like, That's oh, we don't like Harold. He was mean. So, it's like every single Sometimes. Roblox Drama Island server ever. I'm like, I. This is. Man, I can't wait for Harold and Lindsay to win every single time we do a good deal <laughs> in this season. Next up, we have. No, I'm skipping Izzy. We have our favorite nine loving man. Trent. 